Number one Alabama travels to number five LSU. It doesn't pack the punch from a year ago or even a month ago, but rest assured this will have a huge say on the SEC West, the SEC, and the race for the national championship. In other words, it is must-see TV. Ring up Countdown to Kickoff. I'm Al Keck. You know the history. These two were 1-2 a year ago, and LSU beat the Tide in overtime in Tuscaloosa during the regular season. And then Alabama won the rematch in the BCS final. Alabama has not lost since falling to the Tigers last season. 8-0 this year. LSU is 7-1. And again, these are two of the best defenses in college football. Alabama leads the nation in giving up 8 points and 203 yards per game. LSU is third nationally in allowing all of 243 yards of offense per contest. The difference in this game could be quarterback play. A.J. McCarron was impressive in leading Alabama over LSU in the BCS final, and he's picked up right where he left off this season. McCarron leads the SEC in passing efficiency. He's thrown for 18 touchdowns, and he's yet to throw an interception this season. Alabama is second in the SEC in averaging 214 yards per game rushing. LSU quarterback Zach Mettenberger has been up and down. He's ninth in the SEC in passing, and he's thrown only seven touchdown passes on the season. Troubles in the passing game has forced opposing teams to load up against the run, and LSU has fallen to third in the SEC in rushing, and the Tigers have no players among the top 15 in the SEC for rushing. Stay connected. This is the 77th meeting. Alabama has won 46 of those games, including three of the last five. Join me for a full report on Game Day Central right here on the SEC Digital Network.